What's going on, everybody? This is Justin and Rochester with Purple and Gold for Days. The Vikings restructured Kirk Cousins today. They did not extend him. They did not give him a raise. They did not give him a pay cut. They simply restructured his contract. So let's break it down here real quick and go over what this means. Prior to this restructure, Kirk Cousins has one year left on his contract, and he had a cap hit of a total amount of $48.75 million. That was 36 and a quarter this year and 12 and a half dead next year due to the void years that were given to him on his contract extension this time a year ago. Had the Vikings done absolutely nothing and let him play it out, they would have got charged 36 and changed this year, 12 and a half next year. Simple as that. Now, part of that $36 million cap hit that he was scheduled to have for the 2023 season was a $20 million roster bonus. They converted that and some other portions of his contract to a signing bonus. They also added two void years. So instead of having two void years, Kirk Cousins now has four. In short order, what that means is they spread the cap hit out over the course of those void years. And if Kirk Cousins is resigned, those void year charges will simply be absorbed by a new contract. If they're not, whatever remains is accelerated and hits the final year cap. So what does all this mean? Well, now Kirk Cousins has a cap hit for 2023 of only $20 million in change. If the Vikings don't resign him, they will have a dead cap hit of $28.5 million next season. Much like Dalvin Tomlinson right now has a dead cap hit of $7.5 million because they gave Dalvin Tomlinson void years and ultimately didn't retain him. Now, that doesn't really change a whole lot as far as whether Kirk Cousins will be the Vikings quarterback beyond the 2023 season or not. It's just changing how the contract is structured and when the salary cap hits are going to actually hit the cap. So, again, here is beforehand where, again, 36 and change this year. 12 and a half dead next year. Here's what it looks like now. Now, yes, it says 10 and a quarter for 24, 10 and a quarter for 25, and then four for 26 and four for 27. Okay, that's your 28 and a half when you put it all together. Again, if he were to sign an extension, whatever his new numbers would get added in and converse with that. And if he doesn't get signed and he ends up walking as a free agent, all 28 and a half million will hit the 2024 salary cap, which is not that big a deal because the Vikings have gone and made all of these moves, getting rid of all of these older contracts, i.e. Adam Thielen, Eric Kendricks, cutting Cam Dantzler, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The Vikings has been reported we're going to have scheduled to up to 100 some million dollars worth of salary. So ultimately, adding an additional $16 million into 2024, assuming he's not back, is really not all that big of a deal. They're going to have room to absorb that without it being too much of an issue. Now, yeah, it looks kind of funny saying, hey, we get charged $28.5 million for a player that's not under contract, but we did that with Anthony Barr last year. He counted 10 against us. We're doing it, as I said, with Dalvin Thompson this year for 7.5. So having said all that, as of this moment, we don't have a resolution to the Harrison Smith or Dalvin Cook situations. Darren Dougie Wilson has reported that by the end of the day today, the Harrison Smith situation will be resolved one way or the other, whether that's he's cut, whether that's he's traded, or whether that he's given a contract extension or restructure. So we're going to be live tonight on this channel at 6.30 Central Time with Under the Lights with my cohort, Dave. If there's any news, we'll bring that uh, to you then. We'll also re-break down some more of this Kirk Cousins situation, all the cuts that have been made, the signings that the Vikings have had uh, thus far, and all of the other machinations of what's going on. Like I said, tap in with us tonight, 6.30 Central Time on Under the Lights on Purple and Gold for Days. Thank you kindly for joining me. Skull, to the next episode.